Hi everyone, my name is Katie. This video is to introduce sessional tutors and demonstrators at UOW to our new e-learning system, Moodle. Moodle is part of an entirely new platform for UOW, which encompasses several different systems, including Mahara, the ePortfolio, Equella, our content management system, and Echo360, the new technology behind our EduStream lecture capture system. There is more information about each of these systems on our YouTube channel. In 2013, Moodle is replacing our current Blackboard Vista e-learning system. That's this one here. You're probably already familiar with Blackboard if you've taught at UOW before. In autumn, we will still be working across both systems, but we hope to have the majority of our subjects using Moodle by spring. Just like Blackboard, access to Moodle is through the staff intranet. Once you log in to the intranet, the link appears in this box called UOW Platform. You will be automatically logged into Moodle and will see all of the sites that you have been enrolled in. If you can't see anything when you log in, it's likely because the subject coordinator still needs to add you to the site, and you'll need to get in touch with them. Your Moodle site will look something like this. It has three columns with the subject material in the center, usually organized by week or topic. In the left-hand column, you can access your navigation to move from site to site or access your profile page. This is also where you'll access your site settings and the gradebook if this is being used in your subject. The right-hand column contains blocks which are set by the subject coordinator. These blocks will likely contain updates about the site or news. Your site might look different depending on the level of access that you were given by the subject coordinator. There are three access levels, or roles, that are commonly used for sessional staff. They are teaching staff, non-editing tutor, and non-grading tutor. This chart shows what the different roles are able to do in Moodle. If you need to add files to the site but are unable to, for instance, you might not have teaching staff level access. Check with the subject coordinator about your responsibilities for your Moodle site and make sure that you've been given the right role. Another key thing to be aware of in Moodle is your profile page. You can edit your profile page and add a picture to customize it. Keep an eye on your email settings, though. Moodle likes to send emails with updates on submitted assignments and forum posts. We recommend that you set it to digest so that you only receive one email a day. If you need help, try asking your subject coordinator first, especially if it's about your specific subject's Moodle site. If you need technical support or have a how-to question that the subject coordinator can't answer, contact Platform Help via email at platform-help at uow.edu.au or you can call on the phone at 4252-8500 or extension 8500 if you're on an internal phone. You can also follow our blog or Twitter feed for updates about the transition, tips, and training. There are also many more videos available on our YouTube channel. Good luck using Moodle this session, and thank you for watching.